Hello everyone, I hope everyone is safe and healthy of course and doing well. I have been keeping up with earth changes since 2011 when I got into the magnetic reversal and we are approaching 36 degrees by the end of September and I stated this is when the planet is going to become extremely unstable and now we're starting to see it we're starting to see earthquakes in regions that you normally do not see them um michigan florida this is very unusual and now the cascade seduction zone a lot of People and websites and government officials are focusing on the state of Washington, Oregon and the northern part of California. They are very concerned about a tsunami. And we are going to look at some of the volcanic eruptions that are taking place, earthquakes in the northern and southern hemisphere. is totally out of whack, ladies and gentlemen. It deals with the planetary system approaching our solar system that is draining energy from the earth as well as the sun and I know a lot of you are aware of the three large CMEs that we have had this past week and the week before and we're going to have them next week so let's go to the volcanic activity As I mentioned a couple months back, approximately 8 to 10 weeks ago, it was the first time in history that 45 volcanoes went off in a 24-hour period. And it is so many taken off right now. I did not want to go to the map to show you but I will on the next update for September at the end of September or the 1st of October. I just wanted to show you some of the activity and the earth is under extremely a lot of pressure. We are in a 26,000 year cycle and the earth is expanding and this is a natural cycle but the problem is the planetary system is approaching at a 30 degree elliptical orbit and we are starting to see a lot of CMEs that are taking place this past week and next week there's going to be more and the planetary system is draining the earth's 
magnetic sphere as well as draining the sun and this is what's causing the amount of CMEs that are taking place. So let's look at Krakatoa. So Krakatoa is in the area of Indonesia and Malaysia and if you keep up with this particular volcano it basically destroys itself every nine months and then it rebuilds itself and it's one of the most active volcanoes on the planet there has been a number of times uh, recently approximately a year ago that it exploded so devastating that it totally wiped out the island and it started the process over again and if you watch this video you will see the static electricity that is being produced and shows up as lightning strikes in every single one of them is not in the same place that's because this video is not repeating itself over and over and showing the same images and if you watch the static electricity you can see that this is an ongoing recording and back in the 1800s Krakatoa erupted so violently that it destroyed the whole island below the waterline of the ocean and it was felt all the way into Europe all the way into Europe this is in the southern hemisphere and they felt the explosion all the way into the northern northern part of the hemisphere in Europe so you saw the lightning strike but you won't see it in the the same location not in this video this video is going to show it over and over as far as different times the eruption took place and recently geologists has discovered that they are finding a huge amount of nickel that they've never seen before and this is coming directly from the earth's core into the lower mantle and producing it into the upper mantle that later is released through volcanic activity eruptions to release the pressure and this is causing a large amount of earthquakes right now like I stated the planetary system 30 degree elliptical orbit it's causing problems at the same time the magnetic north is constantly moving and at the same time the 26,000 year cycle so I cannot stress enough as far as to keep your eye on the volcanic activity and the earthquakes like I stated I I have never seen it like this ladies and gentlemen and this video started out to be just 20 to 30 minutes I couldn't do it because I was totally amazed about the amount of flooding so let's look at the earthquake that is taking place as well as the magnetic reversal locations so I'm going to take you where the 6.3 earthquake took place in Chile and this is the region right here and this is the ring of fire and that fault line runs right through here there was not a tsunami took place there was not but we will look at the location also on the 3d program 
dealing with this event. This shows what has occurred over the last 24 hours throughout the world. And as you can see, a number of earthquakes have taken place. Even up north, we have a 4.4. And of course, off the coast of Puerto Rico, there's always earthquakes. 5.9 took place. A 6.3 in Chile. And that's what we're going to look at. And this is the locations. I'm going to stop it here. But I want to show you this location as well. This is a 6.2 that's taking place. And also the aftershocks, a 5.4 and a 5.1. And I'm going to take the rings off. So you can see the location it's up around this area and we have seen a lot of activity in this area around here and it's going to increase because the earth is under a lot of pressure right now and the earthquakes are building up and as you saw the volcanic activity but we're going to go back to Chile and look at that location. So this is Chile right here. We're going to see a lot of activity and earthquakes along this region in the next few weeks. But also, look at this area right here. This is Central America. And they had a 4.6 aftershock 4.4 in this location. And we're going to continue to see a lot of areas like this. And of course, off of um, Ecuador and throughout this whole region, we're going to see, if you see these indications right here, this means this whole area has been affected. And this 4.4 is because of this location right here and these are the aftershocks and then of course off the coast of Puerto Rico is always a huge amount I'm going to show you this is all within the last four days look at this ladies and gentlemen look at this this is the last four days and we are going to see all of this increase we are heading into the 36 degrees by the end of september dealing with the magnetic north moving now i'm going to bring this up for the last seven days look at this and look at this region right here all of this i'm going to stop it This is all right there in Chile. I'm going to show you. This whole region right here. And you can see how it's increasing. Look at all of these right here. All of these indications. And I'm going to bring it up a couple more days. And I'm going to show you the whole world. I have never seen it like this. I have I have not. And if we bring it down to the magnitude, now I've got it set on three. But if we just keep at six, look at that. And this is in the last seven days. But if we go back to the last three days, you got a six right here. Okay. In the Atlantic Ocean. A six right here. 
in Chile and a 6.2 which I just showed you in that location and then if we increase this to five days and bring it back up on three that's normally what I keep it at but I I have never seen it like this not not this many the world's under a lot of pressure planet earth is going through so much we're in a 26,000 year cycle right now and this is when the earth is going through expansion and this is dealing with the enormous cracks that are appearing around the world including Africa in this region and as you can see right here but this is the great rift of the valley in Africa and they are expecting this whole area right here to separate when the magnetic reversal takes place and it's being updated about every four to five six months and um, so we're going to look at the flooding right now because the northern and southern hemisphere is extremely out of whack right now and uh, the flooding is taking place throughout the world and I've been keeping up with earth changes like I stated since 2011 dealing with the magnetic reversal and I have never seen it like this I can't even keep up with it anymore so I'm going to show you just a small clip of the 6.3 in Chile and then we'll go and look at the flooding in Italy now a 6.3 the way they measure the scale of magnitude, one number, let's say a 5.0, and it goes up to 6.0, that means it has doubled whatever the 5.0 was. This was a 6.3, and I just wanted to show what took place in Chile. It was a very short quake. It did not last very long. And as you can see here, it will slowly increase. you can see it did not last very long it only takes a second or two and then it's over with but sometimes it can go on for five seconds and if you notice in this video look how large these trucks are and how they're moving so let's check out the flooding in Italy As you can see, the torrential downpour, this is, this is not right. Not this much water being dumped at this, not, and it's mixed with hell. Look at the amount of water. And this is after just a few minutes, 15 minutes.
But ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen it like this. Never. Tromba d'acqua. Look at the wind speed. That is approximately 35 to 45 miles per hour. This is in Italy. Astounding. But look at it. This is frozen mix. at the end of August in the Northern Hemisphere. You can hear the hair hitting the car. Now, they're small, but I'm sure there was reported damage. Look at the amount of frozen water and hail mix. And like I stated, this is at the end of August. At the same time this took place in Italy, this took place in Afghanistan. It was a flash flood that killed over a hundred people. This is what water done with this flash flood. Look how 
the rocks was all piled up together. It's truly sad. These people are just very simple people trying to enjoy what life they have. Some of them are very poor. But look at their home. Look at look at all of the mud. Very sad. So now we're going to look at Turkey. This is a major flood, ladies and gentlemen. Major. Look at this. You are talking metric tons of water being dumped simultaneously. Look at the force of the water. And this is in Turkey at the same time. Italy and Afghanistan. It's truly amazing what's happening. And people refuse to look at the signs. We are definitely in the seven year tribulations, ladies and gentlemen. There's no doubt. Şu 
Bu kadar bir de burada alta doğru alt kat tam boyu çıkarak doğru olur. Alta doğru komple e, arabalar gömülüyor. Su şiddeti. Alta doğru. Evet. Elmaların alt aracı gidiyor. Bakın arkadaşlar. So this is the morning after. Notice, notice this area right here. This is where people walk into the stores. Look how much debris that they are trying to move. That's approximately seven feet of debris. Just within a few hours. It's truly sad. When will people wake up? This is from Russia. Now watch this. Oh my gosh. This is the result of the typhoon that took place September the 3rd. So now I'm going to take you to India. Look at that. Look at the people. Hundreds have died in India. Each day they are estimating 5 to 30,000 people die every day from these floods throughout the world. The day of Noah.
Remember what he said. In my, the hour of my return, it will be like the day of Noah. देखिए जयपुर के ब्रह्मपुरी क्षेत्र में भारी वर्षा इसमें कई गाड़ियां डूब चुकी हैं और कई गाड़ियां तो दिखी नहीं रही हैं और कई डूबने वाली हैं जो कि ये सजदे में हैं अभी इसीलिए थोड़ी बची हुई हैं and none of this is on lame stream media none of it look at the amount of water and the force that is pushing it. Metric tons was dumped in India just within hours. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It's truly sad. When will people wake up? God is giving us the sign. When people refuse to wake up? Look at this. That's approximately four to five feet of water up there. This is the water coming into the front lawn. It's truly sad. So, there's your update for August earth changes, volcanic activity, earthquakes throughout the world, flooding, the day of Noah. You know, ladies and gentlemen, God has given us all of these signs, and people refuse to wake up. What is it going to take? A asteroid impact that could devastate or kill 100, 150,000, 200,000 people? No. They're not going to wake up. What happened in Thailand back in 2004? What happened to Japan 2011? People didn't wake up. In Thailand, 250,000 people died. But I'm going to end it here. Let not your heart be troubled. He is going to prepare a place for us. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. But I'm going to stick it out. And I'm going to watch all of this unfold. And I'm going to keep my faith in Jesus Christ. I love you all.
please be safe everyone and may God continue to watch over you and your loved ones. Many blessings to all.